In this video, I'm going to explain harmonics. The most common form of guitar harmonic that you've probably heard many times throughout the years is a technique we refer to as natural harmonics. In order to play natural harmonics, you must take the meaty part of your finger, okay? So we have the fingertips here, and then we have this sort of meaty part of our finger here, okay? The kind of doughy, meaty, I don't know how you wanna explain it, kind of flabby part of our, of our finger. The softer part of our finger. And what we are going to do, we are going to lightly touch the string directly over the metal bars on the guitar, the metal bars that define where the frets are. Here's the tricky part. To play a natural harmonic open, meaning using open strings, we are limited to musically what harmonics sound like. Harmonics sound kind of cool in passing like this. <laughs> like the intro to White Wedding by Billy Idol. But musically, we're limited to pretty much the fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, kind of the ninth fret, and then the 12th fret, and so on. I'm going to use my iPhone to get right up next to the fret to show you just how lightly I'm placing my finger when I'm playing a natural harmonic. It looks like that. We play the note and then we remove our finger. Just like so. The best sounding frets again, fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, ninth fret, sometimes 10th fret, and 12th fret. Now, other frets that sound interesting with using natural harmonics open that aren't necessarily musical would be like the second fret. Has that very rock and roll sort of sound, especially on an electric guitar with distortion or some gain. Sounds really nice. You can place multiple fingers down. Third and fifth fret. Sounds kind of nice. You probably heard sounds like that. Another way to achieve different notes using natural harmonic technique, instead of relying on the fifth fret of the A string, for example, we could take our first finger to the fifth fret and play the 10th fret of the A string with our pinky. It's quite a stretch. That is another way that we can achieve the natural harmonic sound. Another common form of guitar harmonics are tap harmonics, which sound something like this. How this sound is achieved is whatever note we are playing here with our fret hand, we have to go exactly an octave up on the same string and we have to tap over the metal bar just like we did using natural harmonics. And we're sort of pecking that note with our finger. A great example of this is the intro to Spanish Fly by Van Halen it uses this very technique. Now, in terms of volume, it can be very difficult to get them to ring out. So you can either hit harder or use an amplifier and plenty of compression. Now, lastly is the pinch harmonic. I'm using an acoustic guitar, which is not the best instrument for pinch harmonics. Generally, you want to do this on an electric guitar using plenty of gain and plenty of distortion. <laughs> You can see here on my fret hand, I'm not doing anything all that special, but what is happening with my right hand is I am picking the string and the last thing to leave the string is my thumb. I remember the first time I ever did that was by accident. I was about 14 years old playing my first electric guitar, goofing off in my room, and I accidentally did that. And I remember going, <gasps> how did I do that? It bothered me for the longest time until finally a friend of mine at the time taught me that very technique using the thumb. So you can see here. It's very touch sensitive, but the last thing to leave the note after it has been plucked is the skin on the side of your thumb, just like that. And obviously you can hear differences in tone color based on where I am plucking, whether I'm here, close to the bridge, over the sound hole. Lastly, another technique that you'll hear, which sort of blends a lot of these techniques together, you'll sometimes hear a guitar player bend a note like so and send it into the next register harmonically. You can lightly make that sound out. 
again, it's better to have an electric guitar to really hear the magic behind this. But essentially all I'm doing is I'm plucking and then I am very lightly touching exactly 12 frets up over the gold bar. If you are looking to deep dive into guitar and immediately improve your guitar playing and have a resource that you can always go to to always help you practice, I have a link to a guitar packet in the description of this video that I think will help you out tremendously. It's loaded with lots of amazing stuff in it, so check that out. Hope it helps you out a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll see you on the next one.